everyone, I'm Casey Martin from Wine Country Woodworks, and this is going to be a really, really sweet video. I'm going to be casting all of this fossilized mammoth tooth. So these pieces are all from uh, a couple different pieces of teeth that I got from a gentleman on Instagram. Um, I'll put a link down in the description because I also at the very end of the video show a piece of a full pen that he had somebody turn for him with it. So this stuff is is really really cool to work with but it's also really difficult because it's it's fossilized and it's basically like stone so I had to buy this metal blade for my bandsaw to cut it and I got a few pieces going that I'm gonna put in my silicone mold to make some individual pen blanks and then also a small block that I would uh, cut in half to make a set of knife scales. So there you can see the pieces for all of the different blanks I'm going to be making. The resin I'm using for this is the resin I almost always use for stuff that's going to be machined, which is Alumilite. I use the Alumilite Clear regular set version. For those of you who don't follow the channel regularly, it's a resin that's mixed one by one by weight. It's a polyurethane resin, so it's actually not an epoxy and, in my opinion, always requires pressure. Uh, so I'll be mixing it into a few different colors. What I wanted to do was kind of do some more darker colors or and, and more neutral colors to really make the mammoth pop because it's really, really pretty material that you guys will see later on. So for the block scale mold, I wanted to do black and white. I got a suggestion that I posted on Instagram for um, dark purple, which I ended up doing with the midnight purple mica powder from Caster's Choice. And then I also did black pearl with some glitter for another one. And then another pen blank I did with the black and white leftover from the block mold. So at this point, I'm just adding in all the different dyes and powders to get the colors that I want and started to mix them up. Now casting this stuff was pretty straightforward. Uh, I used a little bit of hot glue for the first blank I'm pouring right now which was more kind of a, a river blank and I have learned that the hot glue actually will stick to the silicone uh, which is which is great because it obviously comes right off uh, if you apply any pressure but it still holds it enough so that it's not going to float or move around or anything like that. The stuff obviously wouldn't float, but I wanted it to stay put. So there's that Midnight Purple from Caster's Choice. I really, really like it. It's really, really pretty in person, and especially when the light hits it like that. But it's also dark enough that it makes whatever it's with pop. Here's the Black Pearl with glitter. And you guys will, of course, see close-ups of all of these uh, once they come out of the pressure pot. And here is the black and white. I always love mixing any color with white uh, to get really, really cool, vivid swirls, but especially the black and white, it just looks so good together because they're just as contrasting as you can possibly get. And so uh, you guys will see me use a barbecue skewer in a moment to make some swirls, and they look really, really cool in my opinion. And there is the skewer, and now we're just making some swirls. You can use a popsicle stick, but I, I do have the opinion that the skewers get you more of tighter swirls and also allows you to get into tighter spots. And you can tell it look pretty sweet. They're going to look pretty cool. So I had a problem getting the block out. As you can see, part of the mammoth tooth broke in half. So wasn't too big of a problem because I'll show you guys what I do in a bit. Uh, here are the pen blanks. This one looks really cool right out the bat, but the other side was still kind of covered. And all of the sides, even though you can see where the mammoth tooth is, since these are going to be pretty expensive pen blanks, I wanted to uh, clean them up on the sander, which I'll do in a bit. My plan to fix the crack was to cast it completely in black 
over in a larger mold so that I could keep the crack apart a little bit. Because if I put it back in the original block mold, the crack was too tight. I was worried resin wouldn't get in there. So that was about 30 times speed of me sanding all the pen blanks because it took a long time. And here is me uh, cutting, and I would say attempting to cut, because I do get it cut, but it was really, really hard. This is full speed, and then uh, now this is about 30 times speed, and it's still really, really slow. It dulled the blade almost instantly, and at that part, I just, I just couldn't get it through anymore. It was too dull. That stone part was too thick, even with applying some... WD-40 uh, to kind of act as a cutting agent. It started throwing sparks as you, as you guys can see and at that point you know it's going into my big dust collector bin with a lot of sawdust stuff that could easily spark so I, I just you know was like I'm gonna just cut it where, where it's at and it's still gonna be plenty long enough and the blade got so hot that I was just trimming the resin portion after and it snapped on me so there goes that blade it was pretty much done anyway and I'm thankful for the blade guard. Here are the pen blanks uh, once they are all sanded and you can see all the sides. They're really, really pretty in my opinion and like I mentioned at the very end of the video I'll show you what it can look like when they are turned as a pen. And uh, these are going to be, I'm going to be selling these pen blanks and the knife scale. The knife scale isn't as great because of the cutting and, and I kind of messed up uh, cutting it too thin at the beginning that you guys will see. but. Uh, these are going to be pretty expensive as I mentioned because they're extremely rare. You actually can't find any pen blanks online at the time of making this from them and the knife scales you can find are $140 plus or at least $120 plus. And here are the knife scales. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these for myself because they are pretty thin. Um, although they, they do look great and would work fine if somebody's willing to, to work with them. So I definitely sell these for a lot. A lot cheaper than what most people sell them for but there's that little cut where I was cutting it a little too thin and then decided to change it but let me know what you guys think about this video if it was fun and informational I I don't want to turn one of these as a pen because I already spent a lot of time with the other tools trying to machine all of these pieces and I just don't really want to deal with it I still have a couple pieces that I um, will probably eventually cast, I just need to buy a diamond blade for my bandsaw. And here's the pen that I was telling you guys about. So thanks so much for watching, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you want to buy these blanks, the link will be in the video description below. Thanks so much for watching everyone.